door's been opened. And now Mao is uh, running a marathon, or is it a triathlon that I've heard? Anyways, just throwing that out there. When you're athletic, you've got to find I something to do. Like, keep busy. Well, Satoko Miyahara has been to the Grand Prix final in the last two years, each time earning silver. But it has been a difficult year for Miyahara, dealing with a hip injury, hence the inconsistencies out on the ice. Fifth in Japan on the Grand Prix circuit this year, but then bounced back with gold at Skate America. floats over the ice. Triple Lutz, triple toe. I'm very positive the judges will be slowing that one down. Seemed like she was under-rotated. They'll be looking for where the blade hits the ice and then what angle it's at. Again, not getting enough height to finish her rotation of her jumps, almost rushing the takeoff. And you do wonder, Satoko has been forced to jump the other way. In Japan, you're not allowed to be a reverse jumper, as is our own Caitlin Osmond. And if you look at the difference between the huge height Caitlin gets on her jumps because she jumps in her natural direction, one wonders if moving Satoko's direction of rotation has not affected her ability to get the height and hence the under rotations. You may have just noticed that she changed directions in that spin. That's amazing that, they, that she is that talented. Step sequence was more like a little dance routine. So attentive to the music. And rewarded with a very high grade of execution as it should have been. seems that her jumps are getting bigger as she's going through the program, perhaps having a great entrance to the program, everything working well, it's giving her the confidence to fire up the jumps a little bit higher, because those last two were significantly higher than the first ones. What a performance by Satoko Miyahara of Japan, the 2015 world silver medalist, three-time and reigning national champion. That was a gift to the home crowd. In Japan, they call her the Tiny Queen, and I think it's a, a name well earned. She is just exquisite on the ice, so beautiful to watch.
Well, there were a lot of questions at the start of the season, as I mentioned, because of the injuries she's been dealing with, in particular the hip injury. That's forced her to pull out of quite a few events. And they said, OK, well, who's going to go and represent Japan then at the 2018 Olympics? Is she a front runner? And she's once again making a case for herself. And what holds her back is the lack of power in her jumping. And she is a tiny queen, but on occasion, she can still complete her jumps at, but almost not leave the ice. And as you saw, she maybe it was the home crowd, but you're right, she built with strength and momentum that program went, but I think it holds her back. Yeah, I agree with you. She, she really does have a, a wonderful quality, but when you put her next to a Caitlin Osmond with those huge jumps and the big firepower, even Gabby Dalman, it doesn't Especially compare Gabby as well. Dalman, yeah. Well, and as much as we loved her performance at the 2016 Worlds, she ended up finishing fifth, and I think a lot of people were shocked. But I remember, Kurt, you saying, maybe it's because her jumps aren't getting the height. And she yeah. she doesn't cover the ice the same way some of the other skaters do as well. So if there was anything that held her back, it might be that. Well, her third straight year here at the Grand Prix Final. Yes, this time around. She earned it because of Genya Medvedeva pulled out because of injury. But you have to imagine for someone who's been dealing with injury,